¿Qué onda? This is Héctor El Chido Canales. Now this is not a wrestling match, but it is wrestling related. Today's video is my audition tape for the 2011 Tough Enough that aired on the USA Network. This is my mistake DVD. The one that I sent out, I never got back. That was the good one. This one's the one that I basically should have trashed. Thankfully I didn't and now I still have that DVD and I could kind of remember what it was. So the first clip you'll see is from December 31st, 2010 and halfway through it cuts off. Now the second clip you'll see is actually the first one I filmed that I didn't particularly like too much because I hesitated, I stuttered too much and I think it was a little long. So I knew I needed to cut it short and just say the gist of it, say the best parts and just send it in. And so I asked my wife to film me after I went jogging because I wanted the, the realism of me just coming back from jogging on New Year's Eve. And that's true. I wasn't fabing it, you know, and came back and I thought that I was inspired by people are celebrating already. I have to go to work in three hours. I thought that frustration, the realism of it would really come across on video. And that's what I wanted to send in. Obviously, I didn't get hired for Tough Enough, but it did open a lot of doors for me. Many months after they had already cast Tough Enough and the show was over, an assistant producer to the show contacted me asking if I was willing to audition for different types of shows. He told me that he was pushing for me to be in this previous season's Tough Enough. But when they came down to picking the finalists, I just wasn't urban enough. Because they were picking their stereotypes. They picked out their beauty queen, their tough guy, their family guy, and they needed an urban youth. And I just wasn't urban enough. On side note, they also wanted to hire Joey Ryan as the All-American Family Man. I was able to audition for a lot of shows. I didn't get any of them, but it did give me that experience of auditioning which later helped me out to get roles such as the one on Ray Donovan on love and a couple of other things I did I hope you enjoy this I watched it and I could only bear to watch it one time because it it hit a raw nerve as you'll see that I am so into wrestling it, it was everything I mean I mentioned how I'm a dad and that's my one number one thing but it was a lie. Um, wrestling was my number one thing. And looking back, I wish I would have used a lot of that passion inside me towards my marriage, towards being a father. Yeah, I did some cool stuff in wrestling. I didn't make it all the way. I, you know, I had the opportunity. But looking back, even though I had these amazing experiences, I missed out a lot on being a father, a husband, a son, a brother, a cousin, a friend. I can't regret anything I did because it did help get me to the point where I am now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and check out my other wrestling matches and where I shoot from behind the curtain and outside the curtain. Hi, my name is Hector Canales, C-A-N-A-L-E-S. I wrestle under the name Hector El Chido Canales, C-A-N-A-L-E-S. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. With wrestling boots on, I'm about six foot one. I weigh 195 pounds, I am 29 years old, and I currently work overnight the graveyard shift pulling pallets. And my, uh, my life, it could be easy, but the reason that I'm trying to live a dream, trying to reach my goals, it gets pretty hectic and it gets pretty hard, to be perfectly honest. Right now, it's December 31st, 8.30.
you know, just three and a half more hours till everybody starts celebrating. Well, actually, I just came from jogging. So I already saw a lot of people celebrating. I was the only one on the street jogging. After this, I'm not gonna be able to celebrate. I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work, make some money, and bring some food to the house. I'm married and I have a little daughter. I got responsibilities. But I still have this crazy dream about one day looking up and seeing the WWE universe cheering or even booing. I love it when the fans boo me because then I know I got them. I got them to react. To Hi, my name is Hector Canales, C-A-N-A-L-E-S. I wrestle under the name Hector El Chido Canales, C-A-N-A-L-E-S. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I am about six foot one with my wrestling boots on. I weigh 195 pounds and I am 29 years old. I currently work overnight, the, the graveyard shift, pulling pallets, now trying to live my dream and trying to support a family is not the easiest thing in the world, especially because uh, I, I don't want to be a part-time dad and so it just becomes very difficult working overnight, hitting the gym, training and then wrestling on the weekends. My day begins on a Monday, begins at 6 p.m. I hit the gym, come back home, help my daughter out with her homework, get ready for work, be there by 10 p.m., get out, be home by 7 a.m., get my daughter ready for school, drop her off, come back home, be asleep by 10, wake up at 6 again, Go to the gym, come back, help my daughter out with her homework, get ready for work, go to work at 10, come back by 7 a.m., get her ready, drop her off, come back home, go to sleep by 10. And this is a constant thing. This is five days a week that I'm doing this. But once I get to the weekend, I get to spend a little bit more time with my daughter. I drop her off at my parents, come back home, sleep for a couple of hours, and then I get to live my dream. I always told my mom that when I grew up, I wanted to be a superhero. And I kept telling her that until I turned 18. She even asked me, what are you, now that you graduated high school, what are you going to be? And I half jokingly told her, superhero. Which, of course, she shrugged and walked away. I half jokingly said it. You know, I really want to be a superhero. So here it is, the weekends. I get to put on my tights. I get to go out there, all muscled out, all oily too, and fight the bad guy. I get to climb the top rope, jump off, do a crossbody, fly through the air like a superhero. That's, that's my dream. You know, as a kid, yeah. Superheroes don't exist, except in the ring. You know, that's why I want to be a WWE superstar. Because it's just a dream. It's in me. I tried going to school. I didn't like it. I tried going for something. Be a, a teacher. I didn't like it. I don't like my job, but I have to do it because I have to pay the bills. The only place I feel at home is sitting next to my daughter and beating up some guy or getting beat up in the ring one or the other that's where I belong but it like I said it just gets hard but the harder it gets the harder working I get it just the more it gets to grind the better the feeling when I actually succeed this is what I want to be. And I keep going. I keep doing it. Why? Because I want to be a WWE superstar. 
because it's in me to perform the physicality everything it's all reached to that point that's the only thing I want to be in life now it brings all these honestly it brings all these problems where I'm not home enough for my daughter I'm not home enough for my wife it could be a lot easier financially emotionally everything for my family the only problem is I can't let go of this dream this is the reason why I hit the gym so hard this is the reason why I have to go I don't like long hair but it fits the character I'd rather be sitting down with my daughter eating cookies but if I walk out there to that ring not looking the way I picture my character El Chido then why even do it but that's the thing I gotta keep doing it because it's in me it's my passion it's like I said it's my dream that's what I work hard at I just I can't stop and I can't quit 